we don't notice it until actually we see, for example, headache or uh, we start yawning, which is too late. So our idea is actually to notify people before it becomes too late about the quality of the air indoor. We created this device called Comfort Box that um, basically has a holistic approach towards our comfort indoor. So it has many sensors inside. So it has the light sensor, the temperature sensor, airflow, CO2, and even noise sensor. And then the idea is to basically compute or understand the personal comfort and how it uh, varies over time also. The concrete result of a tool like Comfort Box could be to reduce the amount of time that we every day spend in unhealthy or unproductive situations. It's possible to give a feedback to the Comfort Box, to tell the, the box, no, I'm fine. It's too, I know it's too warm, but I quite like it actually. So the, the box will learn so it, it uses a machine learning algorithm. It will learn the preferences of the user. Our aim as researchers is to be able to predict uh, the personal comfort. It could tell me that in half an hour, I'm going to be too hot. So that I have to take an action. Either the building take it or I can take it. So if a device can predict something for you, you are going to be more productive also at work. It's an attempt to give back control to the, to the user so that he can somehow collaborate with the building so that the building remains efficient, uh, but still that it's comfortable to people. So it's really designed to be human-centered. It's really looking at the human side.